Good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Tyler Jackson. I'm the director of the Koch Institute here at MIT, and I welcome you to the 15th annual Koch Institute Symposium. Uh, this is a tradition that we started in 2002, actually in honor of the then outgoing director of the MIT Center for Cancer Research, Richard Hines. Jackie Lees and I decided it was appropriate to pay tribute to Richard's leadership, and so we started, a, we, we put on a symposium, and we didn't really realize at the time that this would be an annual event, but it was so successful that we decided to do it again and again and again, and now 15 years later, we're still at it. These symposia um, focus on topics that we think are important and interesting and emerging. Uh, we like to look ahead. Uh, out over the horizon for areas that are developing and have great promise to change the way that we think about cancer, that we treat cancer, and this year, the way that we detect and eventually prevent cancers. Uh, and so we have a very exciting day planned for you, which uh, I think you will truly enjoy and I think will change the way you think about how we manage this disease. So. Our focus today is the prevention and early detection of cancer. Um, very important topics. These will be introduced to you shortly by our symposium co-chairs, Nancy Hopkins and Ed Skolnick, and I want to thank them for the hard work that they put into in helping to motivate uh, and then organize this symposium. It's a ter terrific collection of speakers, uh, and I want to thank both N Nancy and Ed for their hard work. Um, this is also a special occasion for us uh, because this marks the fifth anniversary of the opening of the Koch Institute building. It's remarkable to us that it was just five years ago that we uh, opened the doors of the Koch. Uh, in one way, it seems like just yesterday, time has flown by. Uh, and in another way, it's remarkable how much we've done over that five-year period. We've come together as a community, uh, begun many, many interdisciplinary collaborative research activities that have produced uh, new technologies, new insights, new methods for treatment as well as early detection, as you'll hear from some of our speakers today. Um, so this, uh, again, an important day for us on the calendar. I thank you for being here. Um, and in particular, I'd like to thank many uh, corporations and other organizations that have supported our work. Um, and supported this symposium. This is a, uh, an expensive enterprise to put on each year, and we rely on the financial support of the organizations uh, that are shown here. Uh, we're very grateful for their continuing support. Many have supported us uh, year after year. Uh, in addition to our affiliates, who are the highest level donors, our collaborators, uh, and our sponsors, I also want to call attention to the vendors who are listed here. Uh, these vendors will actually have tables outside, uh, and I encourage you during the breaks uh, to spend some time with them, hear about what they're offering you, and, and provide them the opportunity to take your business and your dollars. Uh, I mentioned also that uh, we uh, have a terrific roster of speakers, uh, and I want to thank them for taking time to be with us today. I know for a fact that you'll enjoy uh, hearing from them and engaging with them. Uh, over the course of the day. And finally, I want to thank some folks who have worked very hard uh, over the course of the year, really, in helping us put this uh, symposium on. Uh, Pam DeFreya, Terry Cluley, Cindy Quince uh, in the headquarters office, and many staff who work with them, many of whom are out manning the various tables out front, uh, do a, a lot of hard work for a long period of time in preparation for this meeting. Likewise, uh, Anna DeConnick, uh, Lenny Gocheva, likewise, doing a tremendous amount of work, and the staff who work with them as well. So if you could please join me with a round of applause now. Uh, and now I'd like to turn things over to our co-chairs. Um, Nancy Hopkins will speak first, and she'll be followed by Ed Skolnick. Nancy is a Longtime member of the MIT faculty. She joined the Center for Cancer Research in the Department of Biology uh, in the mid 1970s uh, and remains on the faculty today. She happens to be a sweet mate of mine in the Koch Institute. It's been a great pleasure working with Nancy over all these years. And as I mentioned, Nancy 
has been an inspiration for our choice of this topic. Nancy is a hardcore molecular biologist, geneticist, developmental biologist, uh, long-standing interest in cancer. But over the last few years, as she'll describe, uh, she's turned her attention to this very important issue of how we can shift the curve in cancer um, and start thinking more seriously and more constructively about early detection and cancer prevention.